memoir form is different from the autobiographical form because it forces you to have to lie because 99% of the people that are named in there have different names. So if, for example, if I say uh, Peter Cleese is interviewing me via Skype, that's true and it's reality. But if I say, you know, Joe Ishkabibble is interviewing me, it's not because I don't want to mention your name. So the very form, form of a memoir gives you more play uh, that if I was writing a strict autobiography, I couldn't have done it this way. Um, and I did, I did it this way. I actually got about halfway into the first book and had some of the stuff online uh, on websites that I'd sent around to probably about seven or eight things. And a number of people who uh, uh, were, were used by name uh, complained to me that they didn't want me to use it. They didn't say that I was lying about anything. One guy I went to school with said uh, you know, he didn't want the fact that he had cancer as a kid being online. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's like, you know, I had, I had, uh, I had, uh, had some issues with some people who had spent uh, years lying about me that threatened to sue me when I uh, confronted them with their lies online. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to get into that again. Uh, so I, I, I decided to, uh, you know, change it.